Hello, great people. Welcome to today's math tutorial. Look at this question before us. Yes, evaluate bracket open minus one close bracket all to the power of one all over four. So how do we solve this? Let's take a solution here now. So we want to evaluate this now without the use of the calculator. Now we just have to find a way of uh, we're writing this minus one in here. So we have to consider the Euler identity. It says that your e to the power of your iota pi plus one, this is equal to zero. So if we move this to this, we're going to have our e to the power of iota pi, this is equal to minus one. So look at here, we have minus one here, and here we have minus one here. So we can put the whole of the quantity on the left hand side in place of minus one here, yeah, right? Okay, so we're writing that this now implies that our e or to the power of iota pi here, yeah, right? They're all raised to our one all over four. Okay, so we have succeeded in rewriting this expression. So this expression contains us this here. So what we do next here now is this. We remember Euler equation, okay? Euler equation. What does it say? It says that your e to the power of your iota theta, this is equal to your cos, your theta, there, plus your i, the sine uh, theta. Yeah, right? Good. So if this is equal to this according to Euler, so we can rewrite this expression here, right? All we just need to do is to shift this inside here. Okay, so we're writing this, so we can have this to be our here. So this now implies that our e or raised to our pi. Okay, let's take our pi all over four, right? The iota will now be equal to what? It's going to give us our curse, our pi all of our four bracket bracket uh, plus iota the sine bracket our pi all of our four close brackets right good so let's continue here and see what this gives us in turn so you're going to have our e take our e uh, to our pi all of our four iota this is four please okay so this will now be equal to what so we can put this in brackets separately, right? Okay. So this will now be equal to uh, we have our pi all over four. That's why it's all over four. That will give us what? Curse four five. So we have here curse four five degree here and plus our i sine four five degree here. Okay. So what is sine four five plus four five? So this is equivalent to our one all of our square root of two yeah, plus our iota all of our square root of two yeah okay all right so what does that implies it means that our e all to the power of your pi all of our four yeah, iota so this in bracket is equal to or equivalent to bracket minus one all raised to the power of one all of our four this is equal to our one all over the square root of two uh, plus iota all over the square root of two. Easy. Okay, so rewriting this expression, therefore, we now have our minus one, okay, minus one, i uh, bracket to the power of one all over four is equal to one all over the square root of two. Then plus our i bracket one all over the square root of two. Again, you can rationalize this. You can equally rationalize this, but I equally leave your answer in this format. So this is the end of this class here. So this brings us to the end. Thanks for watching. You have it any way or you have a better way of solving this, drop it in the comment section so that all I must TV can equally learn from you. And we see you in our next class. Keep winning. And do not forget that Jake does love you. Bye for now.